Hey guys, I'm Marissa and welcome back to my channel. I'm an expecting first time mom due with our baby boy at the end of May and today I'm showing you what's in our hospital bags. So if you are new to my channel, don't forget to scroll down and hit that subscribe button so you won't miss any new videos. Here on my channel, I've been sharing my pregnancy journey and I also plan to share my journey into motherhood. So definitely stay tuned for some of those videos to come. So at the current time of filming this, I am 36 weeks pregnant. Got that nice bump here. And we like just finished our hospital bags this last week. I am giving birth in May of 2020 and yes, in the middle of a pandemic. And so the things that I initially had planned to bring with me to the hospital are kind of a little bit different than what they are now given the circumstances. But I think a lot of things would be similar of what like anyone would be bringing to the hospital. So let's get started with my bag first. The first thing that I want to note is this bag is pretty hideous and I realized that. So before when I was planning to like pack my hospital bag, I totally wanted to get one of those like fawn design bags. I think that they are so darn cute and bringing like a cute bag with me to the hospital as a first time mom, I like that's what I wanted to do. But then spending my last trimester in the middle of a pandemic and going to the hospital and having a newborn, I also assume during this time, it's just really put a lot of things in perspective. And while I would totally love the cute fawn design bag, I just know that I really didn't need to spend money on it because I had a bag. So this lovely thing is actually from Pottery Barn Kids and I've had it since like 2004. Like I took this thing with me to outdoor school. So I've had it for a very long time. It's hot pink and lime green. If you went through the hot pink and lime green stage, definitely leave me a comment down below because I know that that was really in for a time. All that to be said, yes, I know the bag is a little hideous and giving birth in the middle of a pandemic. I just really don't care anymore. So here is what is in my bag. First, let's talk toiletries. So I have my little toiletry bag here, which is a different shade of hot pink. First off, I have my little bag of toiletries. In here, I have some shampoo and conditioner. And these are all just little travel sizes that I ordered from Target. I'll go ahead and leave a link to everything that I bought down below so you can check it out if you're interested. I also got some body wash also from Target. I got some dry shampoo because I figured I probably won't, maybe maybe I'll shower when I'm there, maybe I won't, I'm not exactly sure, but that way I can do dry shampoo if I want. And then a little travel size thing of makeup remover wipes. I also packed some prenatal vitamin gummies in a Ziploc bag to take with me because I know that I'll still need to take these after I deliver and to just have some set aside in a Ziploc bag makes it a lot easier. I also brought some tissues with me. My entire pregnancy I have had really bad congestion and runny nose so just having the thing of like little travel tissues. I'm sure they're gonna have tissues at the hospital but just to have a few with me will be good. I also brought some body lotion. This is the Flamingo body lotion that I have. It honestly it smells really good. Hair ties. I have this little pack of the Invisibobble hair ties which are really cute and also just you know easy to use. So I have three of those in this little container to bring with me. I have a mini travel size deodorant that I had to buy when I was on vacation once because I forgot my deodorant at home so bringing this with me to the hospital. As well as some hand sanitizer. I'm honestly shocked that I found this <laughs> given the times but I I actually found this mingled in with all of my other travel size things and so obviously there's going to be hand sanitizer at the hospital but given the times just nice to have like an extra one or if I like need to have it with me in the car on the way home who knows whatever having an extra hand sanitizer. I also brought a travel size hairbrush and then for some of the more like postpartum care things I am bringing some nipple cream, some perennial spray which I'm sure I'll get some of these things at the hospital. And then some disposable breast pads. I have some of these also in my bag. And again, I'm sure I'll get some of these at the hospital. The other hard thing with giving birth during a pandemic is that I didn't get to even do like a hospital tour or anything like that. So I'm not sure what exactly I'm going to be getting from my hospital specifically. So that's been like another kind of concern. I guess I could totally call them and check and see, but um, I am kind of bringing a lot of the things that I also expect that they may have, but I just want to make sure that I do have them. I will also do a video showing you guys the things that I actually used in my hospital bag because I think that that's also like really helpful to know. Okay, other things that I'm bringing. I'm bringing two of these Depend underwear. 
things. <laughs> I know that at the hospital they give you like the mesh underwear and all of that, but if I decide that I want to like have these at the hospital, I have two of them. I have a whole pack at home that I'm sure I'll use, but just if I wanted some at the hospital just to have the option, I have some of them packed. And that is pretty much my toiletries bag. There are some additional toiletries that I do have that are packed in my husband's bag, which I will be showing you. Oh, and I forgot, I also have a pair of earplugs. In here because if I have to sleep before the baby's here in the noisy hospital then we'll be covered. So for everything my husband Jacob is kind of more in charge of all the electronics so that will be in his bag but the one little bit of electronics that I will be packing are my airpods. Having these handy is going to be very important. Another random item that I have in my hospital bag is actually a water bottle. I know that at the hospital they obviously give you that like water jug with a straw but having a water bottle I feel like would be nice too like if I want to lie down and then this one has like a straw and pops out like this and then covers so that the actual mouthpiece stays covered which again given the times I feel like that maybe is just a little bit nicer. So I'm bringing this like water bottle with me. I just got it off of Amazon. It wasn't very expensive. All right, time for some clothing items. I have a few different nursing bras that I've included. The first one is this nude colored like bralette kind of nursing bra. And I, again, I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to want when I'm in the hospital. So I do realize I'm bringing like a few different options, but it also fits in my bag. So I guess that's okay. So this like, yeah, this one's pretty stretchy bralette. I then have this black one that's like the traditional regular like clasp part. I'm actually wearing the same one in a different color right now because it is just very comfortable. So bringing this one as well. And I also have a nursing tank that I'll be bringing too. So I'm not sure again what exactly I'm going to want when I'm there. So having the options will be nice. I'm also packing some super soft and loose shorts here. These are just like black shorts. It's kind of hard to see on camera, but just black, soft, stretchy shorts to wear um, after recovery probably. I'm, again, I'm not completely sure, but having like more pajama shorts that will be really nice. And I'm also bringing some regular socks and some of the like grippy socks. I have, I got a pair of those as well. I'm bringing a robe and honestly I bought this one a little bit too big. I got this from Target and I did the medium large. I should have done the small medium because it's a little bit big but given the times I unfortunately can't return it so I'm just gonna have to deal with it. <laughs> so I have just this robe that I may want um, in the hospital after after I give birth. I'm also bringing this oversized flannel and this may be just something to keep me a little bit warmer and just be able to like wear my bra and like an open flannel or something in the hospital so bringing this as well. And my going home outfit it's not going to be anything cute but I have this Nike hoodie with me and I also have the same pants like they're like capri pants in nike so this is pretty just loose and comfortable and i'm sure that's what i'm going to want when i leave the hospital so this will be my little going home outfit again one of those things that like thinking back to if i would have done all the first time mom things had we not been in a pandemic i probably would have gotten something cute to wear home but given the times what I had on hand was fine. One very important thing for me that I'm bringing, I am definitely a germaphobe, and so I'm bringing flip-flops for the shower, which is going to be important, or just like walking around if I want that, as well as some slippers. And I have just been using these slippers at home. Obviously they're like a little dingy, so I'm gonna take them with me to the hospital, and honestly when I'm done with them at the hospital, I may just toss them, because I've been using them for so long, and just get myself a new pair, so we'll see. And these are honestly the cutest thing that I have in my hospital bag. All right, time for baby's bag, which is also just his diaper bag. And it's definitely not full because we may be taking things home with us from the hospital if they give us things. So I have some more space in this bag, but here are some of the things that I'm bringing for him. I don't know if this will be helpful, but we can try it out. I'm bringing his swaddle with him. We have the Ollie swaddle. We took the taking care of babies class and she highly recommends the swaddle. So I'm going to pack this with us and see if we end up using it at the hospital with us. I'm also bringing a soft blanket. I know that they give you like some at the hospital, but we'll just bring another one. 
I then have his like car seat cover as well, a nursing cover and car seat cover. We won't be able to have any visitors because of the pandemic so I'm not planning on having to like hide while I'm like nurse him like having dads in the room or something but just to have as like a car seat cover if we need. I have a few pairs of newborn socks for him as well as a couple pairs of mittens and then two little hats which are really cute they have like the little knot at the top of them. Clothing wise I anticipate him being fairly small. Jacob and I were both smaller babies and I, I'll see, I have an ultrasound next week where they'll like tell me kind of like the size that they're expecting. So we'll see. But I'm bringing more newborn clothes. So I have three onesies that are newborn size that I have with me. And then I have two newborn sleepers. These prints are so cute. I love them so much. So I have all these clothes, clothing items in newborn. And then I also did like a zero to three onesie. I don't think that he'll fit into that. I think that newborn will still fit him just fine. But um, obviously, if we need, then we have that just in case. I'm also bringing a little outfit that we plan to take some pictures in once he arrives. And it's this like bottom knot outfit. I got this off of Amazon. And this is the hard thing with shopping during the pandemic is everything online. It said that this was going to be like newborn size, but it's honestly ginormous. So this is probably going to be huge. And I'll see if it works for a good photo. If not, then... It is what it is, but I thought I'd bring it just in case to try and get a, a cute little Instagram photo, so stay tuned. And that also came with a matching hat as well. We are bringing his name sign. It says his name on the other side, so we are not announcing the name until he's born, but I have a little nameplate to take my little Instagram photo to be able to share his name on there. And then I'm bringing a swaddle blanket. We also want to take pictures like with this blanket that I thought was so cute. So we'll bring this mainly for pictures. And then because this is his diaper bag, just if we may need something on the drive home or who knows, I also have a pack of wipes in here and some diapers just in case we may need something while we're on our way home. All right, now time for my husband's bag. He is packing a lot of our additional toiletries. So the first thing that I have here, we have two toothbrushes and some toothpaste and floss. So this is just what we'll share. And he also has his contact lenses in here, which are definitely important. Additionally, he has a little sleep mask as well as some earplugs and deodorant for himself, as well as some chapstick. Definitely important not to forget the chapstick. And we always have a ton of this with us, so we will definitely not forget that. Jacob is also in charge of electronics in his bag. So one of the first things that we have is the camera. I'm bringing the Canon G7X with us to the hospital. I plan to film as much as I can for that, um, as well as since we are in these circumstances, like we're not gonna be able to have someone come take photos, so we're gonna need to take some of our own. So Jacob will be the official camera carrier. We have the Canon G7X as well as the battery charger. And we already have like a battery and an SD card fully like wiped, ready to go in the camera. And I also have an additional battery here as well. He also has packed two 10 foot charging cables definitely important. He also has a ton of clothes packed. Basically, I told him to pack enough for like four or five days in the hospital. I know that if you go to the hospital to like get induced, that can be a really long time. Also, there's always the chance that it could result in a C-section, which then has a longer recovery. So I think like five days worth of stuff would be good for him to have. So he has enough clothing for that. A lot of just soft comfortable clothing, sweats, gym shorts, um, t-shirts, and hoodies. That's basically all that he has packed for his clothing. Jacob is also in charge of snacks. So we have a bag here full of fruit snacks, and we have some here of Cliff Bars, and another bag full of beef jerky. I ordered all of these online to be shipped to our house, again, because of the circumstances, so kind of different snacks, but uh, it's something. I was also told from my hospital this week that Jacob will actually be fed with me in our room. I know typically like dad will have to go to the cafeteria or like go somewhere else to get food but he's not allowed to leave and the cafeteria is closed so they will be feeding us both in our room. So that was a huge relief to know that he's going to get fed but then we just also have these additional snacks. This is a lot of snackage but uh, hey that's fine. Then one of the last things that Jacob has in his bag is a pair of flip-flops. These are just like 
super old flip-flops that we don't care about but for him to have at the hospital for walking around and not not walking around the room barefoot and then the last thing that we're bringing for jacob is a sleeping bag for him to have his bed when we're at the hospital so thanks so much for hanging out and joining me for this what's in my hospital bag i hope that this was helpful for you guys and also i'm totally a first-time mom so let me know in the comments below if there's something that i'm completely missing that i need to bring with me i definitely would love to know that and don't forget to stay tuned for upcoming videos and i will look forward to seeing you in the next one bye